Hi! From this video, you'll learn how to create the unique headers, footers, assign them to different types of pages, even to the whole site or to only the front page, and how to make changes in the pre-made and pre-styled headers and footers that are already available in the magic button. Ok, let's navigate to cover theme and here select my library. Here you can see the theme parts, but uh, my theme still has no parts, so I have to create them in order to use them. I navigate to header and here I click add new button, select the type of the template I want to create, I want to leave header type and here I set the new name for my template. Let it be new header. And I click create template button. Well, now I'm on Elementor editing page and here I click magic button. And uh, here I have access to different types of headers and I have to select one of them. I think the third one will do. Here it is. And uh, now let's assign it to one of the pages, maybe to my front page. Uh, so I clicked on settings icon, which is located in the bottom left corner. And here I click conditions block and select as you can see, we can select the entire site to assign this header to the whole site or some singular page. I think I'll show all of them you can what you can do. Uh, so you can as you can see, you can assign this header to the uh, page uh, which leads to the uh, 404 and uh, page template. you can uh, choose any page template you want. Uh, for example, I have Elementor Canvas and Elementor Full Width pages, so even if you use Elementor Canvas, uh, you can build a page without a header and then the header will be automatically assigned to this page. Um, I think I'll assign my, my header to the front page and then I click Publish button in order to save all my changes. We won't have a look. Uh, we'll navigate to the dashboard instead, as we still have to create a footer. I again navigate to my library and here I open footer tab and click add new button. Uh, the footer type is already selected, but if you want to change your mind and use another template, uh, create another template, uh, so you can select the type of template here. I select footer and here I enter my new template name, new footer. Okay, I click create template button and now I again click magic button. The footers are already open and I select the first one to use. And by the way, you can edit uh, the headers and footers appearance. Uh, for example, I'll show this. Uh, I want uh, to set another color for my menu. Uh, so I navigate to style and here I change the existing text color to the one I want to use. Uh, I think it will match my logo and it will suit my site. I again navigate to settings here open conditions and let's assign this footer to the entire site. And now I click publish button in order to save the changes. And now let's navigate to the dashboard and visit our site to view if the front page has my header and footer. Uh, here is my header, as you can see, a stylish one I'd say, and uh, here is my front page. And let's scroll it down in order to see where is my footer. Here it is. It has blue color menu. And uh, uh, by the way, you can also edit 
headers and footers assigned for this page uh, by navigating to Edit with Elementor, hovering on it and selecting a header or a footer. And in this way you can select the header, and click on it and edit it. Uh, I won't show this, but uh, you can do this, believe me. Uh, okay, this is the end of our video. Thanks for watching.